Out of all the top fives we've done, this one must have been the hardest to decide on. After all, what makes a person influential? It could be the money, power, fame, or all three, and every year the list changes. Either way, a lot of people have been working overtime this year to try and make the Time magazine's most influential person in the world list. But hey, at the end, there can only be five. Here's our top five most influential people inspired by Time magazine survey for 2009. The top five most influential people of 2009 are... At number five, it's the women of The View. Uh, the women of The View. It's very self-important to give yourself a group title like that. The View. Um, it's, it's stupid. The women from The View. We've got Barbara Walters, Joy Bahar, Whoopi Goldberg, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, and also Sherry Shepard. I mean, those girls, those ladies, those women are amazing, very powerful, especially Barbara Walters. She was the one who created The View. The women from The View are so powerful and influential because you've got five really strong, controversial women who can sit around a desk with different cups of coffee all the time and talk the biggest load of rubbish, but it's so entertaining and I think that's what makes it work. I've never heard of them, so clearly they're not that influential in my world. They all have attitudes and opinions that could sink the Titanic at a distance of a mile, but the, inter the interplay between them, the sharpness of their questioning and the wit of their answers gives them a great deal of style. They get people talking. That's the thing. You know, 2009 is all about being as fast as you can, getting the story out, and then chatting about it. I think that there's something definitely attractive about controversy, and that's what makes it so successful. Pointless. The view? What's the view? Pointless. It's a view I choose not to take. Number four is Zac Efron. When I saw Zac Efron for the very first time, I thought to myself, what a handsome boy, what a good dancer. But I also thought there are about a thousand of him at any casting call in Hollywood. He has a gormless charm, which appeals to the tween market, which is the future. So people, I mean, he's influential because he's going to sell for a long time. Zac Efron is proof that the corporate Disney machine is a brilliant marketing uh, monster. He has influenced the youth in a good way, you know, basically saying, you know, let's clean up campaigns, let's say no to drugs, let, you know, let's just be wholesome. My daughter's seven. She lives and dies by Zac Efron. I, on the other hand, feel that he's the little blue blob from Monsters vs. Aliens who attacks the robot and he ends up just being squashed underfoot. He is less in my world than Danny Kaye, and that's, that's barely a blip. He is on posters, he is on lunchboxes, on space cases. You can get space cases, you see? This is how, how, out of, how out of date I think everything is. But he's even on duvet covers, it's ridiculous. He's an emo pimple, he's a little, he's a little pimple with a fringe. We should not discriminate against him just because he's young and super gorgeous and sexy in every way. And he's an amazing singer, actor, he is just all around gifted. Well, it makes me want to do some internet research on how to get someone killed. And I'll get him murdered, because while everyone's watching Barack, we can kill Zach. Coming in at number three, it's Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey is just an icon. There is no denying that she has been on air for over 30 years now. It is absolutely amazing. She's a diva. She's a billionaire. She's an earth mother. She's absolutely wonderful. But what I love about Oprah is that she's not afraid to facing up what we face up to. When she's fat, she's fat. And she tells us about it. And she tells us what's happening inside her own heart. Uh, Oprah's weight shifts more than the rand on the free market during a week of economic meltdown. It does it doesn't actually matter how much she weighs, what she looks like, she manages to get you using those tissues every time. She's brilliant. I don't agree with a lot of what she says. It's beyond the money that she makes. You know, she is so benevolent. The charity, she's always trying to help people all over the world, wherever she goes. And, and people listen to Oprah. That is the power of Oprah Winfrey. She says, I'm giving away chicken and you have like chicken rights across the states. I like the fact she gives a lot of money um, to causes. I think that even though she's number three on our list, she is definitely the most influential woman in the world. She is phenomenal. No one doesn't know who Oprah Winfrey is. Number two, it's the Twitter guys. The Twitter guys absolutely belong on this list because they have created a revolution in that whole social networking thing. I find it irritating when I'm standing talking to someone 
and they're uh, twittering. They are the, probably the only guys who can get away with calling people twits and tweeting and actually make millions and billions from it. It's ridiculous. And it kind of seems very strange, but you know what? They actually changed the face of communication for 2009. They've definitely revolutionized the way that we actually communicate with each other. I haven't used Twitter. I'm against social um, uh, communities on the internet because I find them, uh, they rob particularly children of their ability to socialize in actual reality. People, there's this like trend which shows that people are very interested in commenting live. So they like to chat, which goes back to the view. They like to comment live on what's going on in their lives and on subjects of interest. Twitter, I, I don't, I've never used it, but it's basically people who feel they're that important that I need to know exactly where they are 24 hours a day. But somehow I managed to sleep at night having no idea where or what Colin Moss is doing with himself. I manage and, you know, I'm going to continue. It's literally just been downsized to what are you doing? It's just literally Facebook status on steroids. Number one most influential person in 2009, Barack Obama. Barack Obama is both a remarkable symbol, but he is also a, a creature of societal change. And I think that makes him absolutely amazing. He's given hope in a period where, frankly, People were a little downcast. The power and influence this man has, yet he is so modest and humble. He's got a huge job to do, and America's like, it's not fixed yet, it's broken. So we'll see. But I think of your whole list, possibly one of the more influential people of the century is Barack Obama, because he's a symbol of hope for a lot of people. So he's relevant, but even then, he's fallible. What a serious answer, my God. You know, a lot of people who give these comments are losers. It's amazing. Now I feel like my career's over because I'm being asked to talk about other people instead of having two weeks ago, other people spoke about me, and now I'm talking about someone else, Zac Efron, who sounds like an acne treatment. Anyway.